It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with Billy Ray Cyrus, who is engaged to that Australian singer Fire Rose. Oh, wow. That was quick. Yeah, it's like uh, he's 61, she's 34, something like that, give yeah. or take. I wonder if yeah. I'll have more children. We shall see. We mm-hmm. shall see. Uh, L. King, her debut country album coming out in January. Uh, of course, uh, she's had some pop hits and then a bunch of country hits, uh, duets with Miranda and Dirks. Uh, she says she poured her heart, her soul, and tequila into this album, Candy. Hey, that's good. Nice little mixture there. Her heart, yes. her soul, and tequila. Can always, uh, you know, can always be creative when you pour the tequila, for sure. <laughs> a little too creative. Uh, it's going to be called Come Get Your Wife. That's the name of the album, by the oh, way. Oh, that's nice. And Nico Moon and his wife, Anna, congrats. They welcomed their first child, little baby girl, Lily Ann. Oh, Lily Ann, that's nice. I love that. And in a world where everyone's naming their kid with strange names, Lily Ann is a beautiful name. Beautiful. Name. It's almost as beautiful as my Maeve. Yeah, so, so lovely. Mm. Uh, Jay Leno, word is he's in good spirits. The hospital staff says... He's been treating everyone so great, even with his injuries, and he even goes around and passes out cookies to the kids. Yes, he's making jokes. They said he's a a perfect patient. That's good. Uh, February 3rd, a movie we talked about a while back called 80 for Brady is coming out, and that's Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, Rita Moreno, and Sally Field. And the four of them are, like, trying to I get together the money or something to go see Tom Brady in a Super Bowl. They love Tom Brady. It's like a oh, whole that's thing. funny. So uh, the first pictures were released from filming, and it looks cute. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a fun, fun movie. Um, Mass Singer yesterday, I know you love to hear who was kicked off, Candy. Always. And Adam Carolla was the latest to be gone. Who? Remember Adam Carolla? The barely. Remember uh, that's Dr. That's my point. Is it Dr. Drew and Adam Carolla? Yeah. Remember? Uh, yes, I remember barely. Yeah. Uh, Brendan Fraser. This is a serious story. Brendan Fraser says he will be skipping the Golden Globes. Um, it goes back to a long time ago. He was once molested by the head of the organization, and God. he says he cannot be a hypocrite. He cannot, his mother didn't raise a hypocrite. He is not going to the ceremony, even if he's going to win. What a terrible story. Yeah. Um, There was a plus size writer who had an event coming up, couldn't find a dress that fit or a store or, you know, just couldn't find something to wear. So uh, the writer uh, reached out to Lizzo and Lizzo sent her her American Music Awards dress from 2019. Wow. How cool She's so is cool, Lizzo. I want to hang out with her. That's neat. And uh, finally, In Excess fans. You remember In Excess. Mm, I'm a candy. big In Excess fan. Saw them several times. Huge. I tried to see them. Love I remember them. Late 80s. Uh, late 80s, I was like, they had a huge run at Radio City Music Hall, and I was trying to. Saw them there. Uh, I was trying to go see them. I couldn't get to. I, you know, like, I. I think I asked my mom to try to get tickets while I was at school and whatever, but never happened. Um, Yeah, they have a, you know, they had a ton of hits back then. Um, They're, they're fake. Obviously, the Michael Hutchins, the lead singer, committed suicide, and it was a whole terrible thing. Um, Anyway, their fans are petitioning the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame to try to get them on the ballot next year, Candy. I don't even know why they're not in there already. I know. I I agree with that. Well, we know Such our issues with the uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So yeah. a lot of issues. Best music to dance to, listen to. Oh, we just listened to an album just a yeah. couple of weeks ago. Listen, they very one back then. This is how I describe them because I was having this conversation with someone the other day. Actually, our very own Jay Letterman, who runs our ah. big our big hit station, ninety eight. Yes. And I said, why? I said, you play all the pop hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s. I said, why don't you play In Excess? And I was having a debate with him and about In said, Excess. Oh, you're right. Why aren't they playing? Well, he's, lo- he's looking more into it, and he should be. So I'm having this conversation with him, and I described uh, In Excess in the uh, 80s into the 90s was that version of Maroon 5. Oh, even better. I'm sorry. Right, but they, similar, they really, uh, Similar, but mm, 
They had something nobody else had. Yeah. And to this day, nobody else has it. Agree. Uh, TV, Amazon tonight, Packers, Titans kick off the new week of NFL. CBS finally with that pickled special candy. Oh, yes. Let's all get pickled. Uh, Dirk Bentley and Jimmy Allen will be on tonight playing pickleball. And uh, Law and & Order, SVU, and Organized Crime all in a row tonight. And there you have it. You're bald and the beautiful everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Cold mid-40s. Friday will be cold, sunny mid-40s. And then the weekend, uh, going to be like 40 and breezy Saturday and Sunday. Oh, you said yeah. the weekend, and I got excited. It is, I know, and it's going to be brisk. Uh, and reminder, we have our food drive looking for food donations this Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Compare Foods 257 Route 112 in Patchogue. It's all on our socials and our website. Give what you can. Uh, it's going to be another great event this year as we try to get some food for the uh, hungry. Please check it out and come join us. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.